he basically just started to go off on Cat Williams and talk about how Cat Williams lost everything that he all his opportunities, everything that that he had because of his problems. And he started to bring up that like he has drug issues. Uh, you know, he uh was lazy, didn't show up on time to shit or whatever, and all these things, right? Right. Which it's not really I mean, at that point, you know, Cat Williams has already said what he said mm-hmm. about Kevin Hart. But I don't know if you can put it in the same realm of like Cat Williams saying like don't go to that nigga stand up because he's not funny. Cat Williams has said that Kevin Hart isn't funny. But Cat Williams has never said, like, don't go see him. Right. You know what I mean? Like, there's a different level between being like, I don't fuck with this person, and I don't fuck with this person, so you shouldn't fuck with this person. There's, like, those totally different levels, right? Right. Mike Evans pretty much kind of brought that to the forefront and was saying, someone in Kevin Hart's position, if you know that Cat Williams is, like, you know, trying to do his thing, and you know that Cat Williams had these problems or had or possibly still has these problems why do you then go on a national a nationally syndicated radio show and talk about this man like that in front of all these people who who potentially these like directors and producers and things are watching this shit who might want to hire cat or might want to give cat like a role or something right but now they have fears because kevin hart's saying he's a drug addict and he won't show up and all these things whatever which i totally understood because there's one thing that i don't care i don't give a fuck about i don't give a fuck about if you talk about people i don't care if you talk shit i don't care if you don't like people the one thing that i just feel like is a super no-no is if you stop someone from trying to get money because at the end of the day they got a life too. Whatever. Now, of course, if they trying to stop you from getting money, then of course it's fair game. But if there's like ne- nothing should ever be to that point where you're stopping someone from trying to eat or feed their family. If you if it goes to that point, then that shit is personal. Then that's something where it's completely out of the realm of like being fixable because you tried to starve me, basically. You know yeah, what I mean? I get you, but on the flip side, it, it is that Cat Williams started that. Like, if you start talking shit, then you shouldn't be surprised at any ramification. And to you, it might be, like, overboard what he did, but technically you started it because he wouldn't have never said any of that stuff if you hadn't started saying stuff I, in the first place. I get that point. But I, at the same time, it's like, uh, what was I going to say? Um, it feels like both of them were using, like, his name just to get attention. It's like, oh, this this guy is, is like talking shit about the the like a really big movie star now and a big comedian. Like, right. let's focus on the, what they're saying and blah blah blah. Right. So it's just, uh, it, it's like if 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 I'm at work and I just start talking shit mm-hmm. about my boss's boss, someone that's like really above me, right. and I just say what Kevin said. Oh, that that motherfucker ain't shit. If those words, like he he hears like me saying that. Or she, I don't know who my boss and boss is. Right. Um, <laughs> I don't know who the fuck I work for. Yeah. Right now. I show up. Um, if if those words get to her, even from just like gossip in the office, or like somehow my voice was recording, it got to her officially, and she could confirm it. Right. And she decided to to do what like what Kevin Hart did. She would be completely justified because like who is this motherfucker that um, I gave a job to, and I'm mean, like I'm paying his bills and stuff like that. Through the company, whatever. Like, why is he saying all that? For what reason? But see, I feel like that's like, that is, that's an extreme. And that's like, then at that point, then you're just sensitive because you should know that this is going to happen regardless. You know what I mean? Like, Who's sensitive though? The the boss. Because it's going to happen regardless. My, uh, one of my best friends, my only white friend uh, in the world, <laughs> shout out to Jason. Uh, my only white friend in the world um, told me that everyone wants to be like a leader like everyone wants to be a manager or whatever or whatever right a boss pretty much everyone wants to be a boss but they don't understand that when once you become a boss you get blamed for everything and you have to take it yeah and that's kind of where like well i i, I get i get what you're saying on that 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 they get blamed for everything but that's a responsibility thing 
But if if someone is just saying shit out of nowhere and blaming you for something that's not even a thing, that's when you go like, what the fuck? Well, see, right. Well, like this. What, what did Kevin Hart do to Cat Williams, really? Before, uh, that, before he started talking shit. But see, like this is, we don't know. Mm-hmm. All we know is what, clearly Cat Williams has a problem with Kevin Hart. Clearly Mike Evans has a, has a problem with Kevin Hart. Right. Mike Ebbs, Cat Williams, and Kevin Hart are all three totally different spectrums mm-hmm. of like success and all that shit. Kevin Hart is, of course, at the top. Cat Williams would be at the bottom. Not bottom is like he's like fucking doing nothing. Yeah, all right? relative. But it's all like compared to the other two, he's at the bottom. And then Mike Ebbs is kind of in the middle. Mm-hmm. For Cat Williams to feel so strongly about Kevin Hart, it seems like like kind of what this goes back to the whole interview with Mike Ebbs. Mike Epps was alluding to that these, like, Kevin Hart and people like Kevin Hart go into these meetings with uh, with these producers and studios and shit like that. And when these studios pitch them certain people, they wag their finger, turn their nose up, and say, like, no. I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing because you are... In a sense, vouching for this person by by saying yes. So if if you have your doubts and your reservations, and especially if there's a crap load of money on the line, I'm gonna be like no too. If if I don't if I don't want that person, I'll be like ah, it's it's it's. I, I feel uncomfortable. I think it's too big of a risk to associate my name, something I've worked really hard to up in this game, this insanely hard business to break into. Right. Why would I take the risk for for him? Why why would I take a risk for that person? If, if especially if we're not if we're not insanely close friends, right. like you said, like the inner circle friends. If we're not that, and if you just think I if you, if you feel like I owe you something because I'm up here now and you, you think I'm obligated to offer you something, that I don't agree with at all. Right. Um. And then for him to talk shit too, then like why would why would I ever want to work with you again? Well, let's let's take the uh, let's take the talking shit out of it. Okay. Let's just say that this is when nothing has been said. Okay. And even in that case, if we're just focusing on Cat Williams, he did it to himself. Like no one, no one told him, "Hey, go fight that fifteen-year-old." Hey, hey, go fight your driver. Right. right. And then get in trouble like that because he was on a he was on an upswing. Right. He just had that thing with that one radio host, um, that lady radio host. Like they were just roasting each other back and forth. Right. And he was just on upswing, like, oh, Kevin Hart's, like, being funny. He's being cool. All of a sudden, Kevin Hart arrested uh, for fighting his driver. What do you mean, Cat Williams? What's, oh, right, Kevin, Cat Williams, sorry. <laughs> all these things are the same to me. Uh, okay. All these Ks. <laughs> <laughs> all these K names. <laughs> um, so he, he's doing it to himself. Like, I, I wouldn't, if I was in Kevin Hart's position, I'd be like, nah, I don't, I don't want to work with him. I don't want to deal with those problems when we're trying to be professional on set and everything. Because it is, it's, it's, it's a... It's an, man. If you've never been on a, on like a film set, it's insane. It's insane how busy it is on there, and every person has like their one job, and every person has to do their job, or something fucks up in the chain. Right. So you don't want people like that. It's not fun, especially I, on that kind of job where it's like it's a fun job to do. Okay, and I completely get where you're coming from. And I can I and I agree. Do you feel like Kev doesn't uh, acknowledge you enough? Like, doesn't give you, doesn't pay homage, doesn't give you the respect for paving the way, or what is it? Well, I don't think he owes me none of that. Nobody, nobody owes nobody respect. You know, um, I just think that that you know, if if you in a position, a power, you know, you can't be a gatekeeper, you can't be the police, you can't act like a a, a victim. Mm-hmm. But then there's a certain regard to where I am as a person. This goes back to just the whole stopping someone's money or whatever. Right. If they have that person in mind and then they're going to spend the money and it's not like a, if there's some, if it's something where I have the control, mm-hmm. like it's my project and then the studio suggests someone, but it's my project. Then I'm like, of course, I'm like, nah, like, cause nah, I want it to go like this or whatever. Or, of course, people have their own visions and shit like that, which is whatever. But when a studio, and I, like, like I said, this whole thing being brought back to just common people and relationships and shit, and shit like that, if your boss is in a meeting with, an, with another boss, right, mm-hmm. and they go, they're going through the board, they're about to promote someone to be a manager, 
and you, they want your boss's opinion. They say, hey, what do you think about Mark? And he goes, because knowing you and knowing how you guys are, if he went, like, no, he wouldn't be good there because he, like, he, he wouldn't be able to handle it. He wouldn't work or whatever. If you found that out, would you be salty about it? Even if there's some truth to it, even if it's like, whatever, would you be salty about it? I got this nigga. Look, no, pause. I was just, I was, it's a long ass pause. I was just pressure record on the camera. First of all. <laughs> not stalling at all. Still not stalling. I can't believe how much not stalling I'm doing right now. Stalling. Who stalls? <laughs> Um. I, yeah. Stalling. <laughs> Damn, that was high school. We did that shit. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get a lot of high school stories in this fucking podcast now. Uh, I, of course, I'd feel salty, but the whole I, video I'm gonna be fixing this shit. It's gonna be funny. I'm just gonna, <laughs> this is like gonna be different gonna angles of me. Loose in the back. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, yeah, I would be salty, but if you want to be honest with yourself, which most people aren't, just most right. people aren't self aware and honest with themselves. Right. Me. How how I how I am at work and everything like that in this situation this made up situation. Maybe I don't deserve it. Maybe he sees like yeah we're cool and everything and we have fun, but maybe I don't do those those like I don't I don't handle that pressure well. Okay. You know and, and yeah it's cool if it's more money, but in a sense, what if he's looking out for you? You you could feel on the flip side like oh like if he goes in that position he's gonna crack and he's gonna leave and he's gonna get fired and now he's gonna have no money. Instead right. of instead of just like the money he has right now. Okay, with that same situation, let's add he then gives it to someone who you think is a complete idiot. Oh, then yeah, I'm pissed off. 